33 we're tracking new developments regarding West Maui schools. Now, here are the latest stats from the Department of Education. Before the fire, there were 3,001 students enrolled in that area. Since then, 778 have re-enrolled in other schools. 874 have signed up for distance learning. 129 are now enrolled in charter or independent schools. 12 have withdrawn. Now, that leaves about 1,200 students that the DOE is actively trying to contact. Meanwhile, in case you missed it yesterday, Governor Josh Green told Sunrise that he signed off on a plan to build a temporary school for students at King Kamehameha III Elementary School, which was destroyed. The strong likelihood is we will use the uh, Army Corps of Engineers like we're using them for the cleanup. Uh, we'll devote, looks like, about $25 million to have a temporary school near a formal long-term school location so that we can get that up quickly. The expectation is between 90 and 120 days we can get that school going. We're expecting to learn more at a Board of Education meeting that is set for Thursday, 1 p.m. The Department of Education superintendent is set to give a report on the impact of the fires. Now, last week, public school officials, including the superintendent, held a meeting in West Maui. Tensions were high as about 800 parents and teachers shared their frustration. In a report prepared for this week's Board of Education uh, board meeting, the superintendent said his key takeaways from that meeting were parents and students want school to start sooner than the mid-fall target date. Parents want options on the west side for their families in the transition to school reopening. Parents are concerned about busing students across the pulley. Some are not getting information that the Department of Education is sending, and stakeholders want to provide input for planning.